welcome back here in this new video tutorial in google sheets today we are going to learn how to create a gantt chart in google sheets gantt chart is used for illustrating the process flow and work details of a project as you see in the screen a gantt chart is already created which is representing the task details their starting date and the days taken for that task so Let's go to another sheet here and start creating the Gantt chart. First of all, we need to create this table which has the task name, their start date, end date. By subtracting the start date from end date, we get the days taken, which we can simply calculate here by pressing equal to then this date minus this date. Here it is automatically suggesting the formula. You can simply press enter and you'll get the days here. Just go in the fill handle, then drag it down and you will get the days. After calculating these, then select the task name. Press the control key in the keyboard, then hold it. Then select start date, then select the days. Take these three columns only by holding the control key in the keyboard, then select. After that, go to insert tab, click on chart. And here in the column chart, we have to change this to stacked bar chart. So go to the drop down, then select the stacked bar chart from here. Now, after creating this, we have to make change here in the values of the x axis level because this is given in the number format and it is given the starting date that is in Google Sheets, the first date. So we have to make this date the recent date where our project is running. So our project is running or starting from 1st of January 2024. So here we have to make this date some days before the 1st of January 2024. This is because we have to display the start date also here in the uh, Gantt chart. So to do this, go here in the axis label, double click, then here go to the minimum value and maximum value. In the minimum value, maximum value, we have to put the number that represents this date. So first of all, here write some days prior to the starting date of the uh, project. So that is, I am taking here December 28, 2023. Then the last date of our project is 30 January 2024. So here type January 30, 2024. Now convert these two dates into the number format by selecting. Go to the format option, go to number and take the number formatting from here. Now we get the numeric value for these two dates. Now go here in the axis label, double click. Then in the minimum and the maximum value, put these two numbers. In the minimum value, we have to put 45288, this value. Then in the maximum, put 45321, 45321. After putting these two values here, then go to the number format here and then choose the date and time format. Then take the date format from here. Here I will take this date format then click on apply now here you see the date is given in this format now we have to make the start date portion of the chart invisible select the start date section that is given by the blue color then go here in this customize option then here make this fill opacity to zero percent now here you see the color is not given now here we have to put the starting date so go down and here in the data label check the box and here you see the date is added and to display the days taken for every single task we have to click on this date series then again go to the customize option and here click on data label and here you see the days is now added if you want to make change of this color, then you can go here in the color option, fill color option and select a different one. From here you can change the color if you want. Now if you want to make the 
task in a reverse order like if you want to keep the task 1 at the bottom and the task 8 at the top then you can do this by double clicking on this y axis and here you can click on reverse axis order that will put the task 1 at the bottom or you can keep the task 1 at the top also this depends upon you where to keep the task 1 now the chart is almost completed you can now increase the size of the chart by going here in these controls then increase the size here if you want to add a chart title you can double click on the chart go to customize and here in the chart and axis title you can go in the chart title option you can go in the chart title and here in the title text write the title of the chart like here i'm giving project a b c process flow details the title is added here if you want to keep it at the center you can go here in the alignment and choose the center alignment if you want to change the color here you have option to change the color in this way you can make change in your chart appearance similarly if you want to give some background color for your chart then you can go here in the chart style then choose the background color here i am taking this color as a background now here you see the gantt chart is created so this is the process of creating the gantt chart in google sheets to illustrate the project process flow and task details thank you very much for watching this video we will again meet in next video tutorial